Amazing! How a city about winning was saved by a team about losing. Amazing! In its corresponding book, How the Worst Was Won, relive the impossible true story of how history's greatest sports character, Casey Stengel, takes helm of history's worst team, the 1962 New York Mets, to resurrect history's saddest fans, who are millions of scorned New Yorkers abandoned by the Dodgers and Giants. It's an epic, highly cinematic comedic television series inspired by the true, timeless film classics, pulling from those rooted in baseball as well as others for their underdog heroics and authentic depiction of true life stories. By 1957, Major League Baseball is being commercialized, cheapened and sold out by colluding team owners intent on establishing only one baseball team to a city. That's the way to make the most money. Owners O'Malley and Stoneham lead the way, abandoning millions of heartbroken New Yorkers by selling their Dodgers and Giants out to the West Coast. Yankees owners Webb and Topping couldn't be more delighted with now being the only baseball team in the grandest city on earth. But for those millions of morning New Yorkers, it's the darkest of times, and they give up baseball forever rather than root for them heartless Yankees. Three years later, a light breaks through the darkness as New York lawyer Bill Shea's clever legal maneuvering forces the owners to accept the Mets as a new team. But New Yorkers don't pay to see horrible teams, and knowing the Mets will fold without enough fan attendance, O'Malley, Stoneham, Webb, Topping, and the rest of the owners fix the draft to ensure the Mets only get the worst players at outrageously high prices, and only their first season the Mets franchise appears doomed. That is, until baseball's greatest manager and legendary showman, Casey Stingle, agrees to lead this bumbling squad of castoffs. Cruelly fired by the Yankees the year before for being too old, Casey's become a martyr, and at 72, saving the Mets, his own reputation, and the hearts of those millions of morning New Yorkers becomes the greatest challenge of his already storied life. And from the start, he's overwhelmed by cursed luck and boundless player ineptitude. Their opening day is ominously on Friday the 13th, when the game gets walloped by a blizzard. They're so bad that nine games into the season, they fall to nine and a half games out of first. The entire season, they never once win on a Thursday. Harry Cheaty's traded from the Indians for a player to be named later. Cheaty proves so incompetent that he's traded back to the Indians as the player to be named later, and doing so becoming the first player in sports history to be traded for himself. The Mets have two pitchers named Bob Miller. They're forced to room together and it becomes hilariously confusing. Third baseman Felix Mantilla bizarrely dives in the opposite direction of hit balls. Catcher Chris Canizero's overthrows to second base would hit the center fielder on a fly. Jimmy Pearsall hits his hundredth home run and after rounding first base, pivots to moonwalk the rest of the bases backwards. Even after the season was over, the Mets continued to lose ground in the standings due to a playoff tiebreaker. The Mets have the most amount of errors in the league, being more batters than anyone, end their season on a triple play, they even have to endure getting trapped in elevators, countless road trip disasters, league reprimands for player behavior, and we're just getting started. Shrewdly, Casey lowers the expectations of the Mets by making his own comical actions and Stingley's way of double-talking the focus. This brings infectious joy to an entirely new breed of fans who continually pay hard-earned money to see the worst baseball ever played. Ultimately, Casey's unyielding competitiveness defies overwhelming odds to drive enough attendance and save New York City baseball forever. The entire tale is told 40 years later by a fictional Walter Matthauish character who witnessed the 62 season firsthand as a junior sports writer under real life legendary sports reporter Dick Young. Backed by an amazing soundtrack, the depth for seasons of episodes, and millions of guaranteed viewers among Mets fans alone, Amazons of Vast clever, and fun entertainment experience that has to be seen to be believed. Amazing. Go! Amazing.
How a city about winning was saved by a team about losing. 